welcome back to No Man. So, as you can see, we've moved on to May, and we have a heavy load of planks pulling up the hill. We are going to sell them, as you probably could guess, because the price has topped out at 2376 for planks. And we'll take a look at the fluctuations, and we are getting up there. As you can see, last year with a new update that shows the peak price and the lowest price that it gets to, the peak was almost $2,500. We're a thousand, not thousand, a hundred dollars off that, $150, $30. So I think we're just going to sell them right now. If we get more, we can sell again in the future. But for now, I think we will take what we can get for these. So let's see if we can drive us onto here. And there we go. Get them all sold. And we are up to 164,000 for those. Wow. Yeah, so we are up to 114. I thought we were up to 114. I don't know, 113,270 is what we're up to. As long as we're here, let's take a look at the sales. Anything we want? Not really. Now, let's see if we have any trailers that we would want to change to. Because this one just does not work very well for hauling our stuff. I think this one is too small for what we need. So we are going to, is there anything else we could look at? Anything on miscellaneous? I don't think so. Well, there's this guy and this one, the profi liner. But we need to get a dolly for that. So getting that and a dolly, we're looking at thirty thousand here. Yeah, and we would need to get a dolly for it. Just looking at about forty thousand for that trailer. When well, we can just go with this. Fleagle, the DTS 5.9. We can get that for oh, 30,000 as well, and we don't even have to have a dolly because it comes with one. Yes, it is a lot, a lot shorter, but I think. Nothing under bale loaders. I guess we could go for a different auto load trailer because ours we would want to replace anyways because it doesn't have straps. Yeah, we might do that. Let's. Let's go back. Uh, actually, hmm. Let's put this in the cell point, and we'll swap different auto load. And if we really like it, we will sell our other one. But we will have two then for the moment. We we'll would repair that for two dollars, repaint it for two eighty six, and sell it for thirteen. Yeah, we have not used that much, but because I was just thought we'd give it a tr good trial run. But that was why are we in that category? Yeah, I thought we'd give it a good trial run. We got our stuff hauled with it, so I'm not complaining too much. Well, let's see here. Which one should we go for? Uh, 
uh, 32 bale maybe it's quite the long trailer too so I think we're gonna keep it standard tires cuz otherwise that price goes way up Uh, we'll just put the straight extensions on there for an extra two grand. Automatic loading. We'll have it on yes. Uh, normal hitch. Low ball. Yeah, let's go with normal pin hitch. We'll keep all the colors the same. We're going to buy that outright. There we go. Okay, so we have a new trailer we can load our pallets and stuff onto now. And yeah, as you saw in the beginning clip there, we uh, put the fertilizer spray on front for our counterbalance because it was heavier than the weight. The weight was not quite heavy enough. As you saw, it was tipping quite a bit. So let's head on back down to the farm and we will get this parked up. We have a few more pallets we could sell, but I think we're just gonna keep them for now until we are ready to sell another big load. And yeah, we don't have silage to sell yet because it's still fermenting. We have the grass around our grapes that we could mow and Rolling bale and all that's good stuff. As for making hay for when we get our horses, I think we are going to probably just buy it in because we can make silage and that will cover the cost of our hay then. I would think at least. We buying hay with square bales even. It's fourteen hundred almost 1500 bucks whoops and yeah we're for sure selling solids at that price and we just don't have to bother making it we can just buy it in and buy it in as we need it we don't need to really store too much or make too much we can just focus on other things unless it gets to being ridiculous buying hay in but i don't think we'll need to buy too much Wait a minute. Don't tell me that this trailer doesn't have straps either. You can disconnect that. Really? No straps on this trailer either. Well, what if we put in a workshop here? Let's see if we can take off the auto load function. Uh, customize, auto load, no. Okay, so with an, without an auto load function, it has the straps. Okay, so we will use it for pallets and stuff without the auto load function. And if we want to load bales and stuff and just quickly pick them up, we will use it with the auto load function. Now I'm curious to see if that trailer actually has straps with if you can take the auto load function off. I'm not sure if you can now or not, but we'll take a look. We should turn the speed of time up actually. There's no point dragging this day along when we're just waiting for stuff to grow. Okay, so let's see. Put this in the workshop trigger here. 
Now, if this thing has straps on it, when we take off the auto load function, customize. If it has straps, it does. Well, all right then. Well, we have options of trailers now. They both have straps. Which is a little annoying. I don't know why they would take the straps off when you have an auto load function, which doesn't make any sense. But anyways. So be it, I guess. All right, so now we have a little bit of money kicking around. Uh, we have a loan to pay off. But if we want to expand our empire here, we were talking about going down, whoops, going down the route of another sawmill or a carpentry building. So this is a sawmill we have. It's quite a, takes up quite a bit of area. I don't think we we'll, would even be able to fit it in here properly. So that one's off the table. Uh, there was a different one. I don't know if I installed it for this map. I don't think so. But if we go carpentry here, this guy, it's actually quite a small footprint if you look at it. We talked about putting it back in here. Have to make sure we can access all the sides we need. We need to access. Let's wait a minute, let's turn on some icons first. Track zone marker, triggers, yeah, let's have all that on so we can see what goes where. Uh, okay, so I wish we could take the menu away. So that front section we need, oh. That would fit in nicely there. What's it overlapping with? I don't know. Hmm. Um, where would it, there it works. So what is it hitting? What's it hitting over there? Uh, let's take a look here. Ah, there's a piece of grass. landscaping let's go to painting let's go to grass and we will delete that is there anything else well, let's try it again there we go whoop zoom out a bit there we go, that fits better now. So if you set it, oops, set it back just like that. There, so we can access the back side there and the front. So let's 
do a little bit of landscaping here. We'll put some more concrete in, or not concrete, we're going to put some asphalt in here. Uh, let's make that a bit bigger. So now we can put tr uh, trees or pallets of planks in there. So we can produce another product of furniture. There we go nicely done on the front there and the back. Whoop. Let's see if we can't get a better angle in here. There we go. Ah. Not happy with the uh, FS22 camera collisions yet. Hopefully, we get um, the disabled camera collisions mod pretty soon. Okay, so now we can access both locations, both sides. Tucked away nicely in here. Timber time, woodworking. So we should get some products put in here. Let's go grab a forklift. We'll bring some pallets of planks over. And we'll also drop a tree or two. And throw it in there as well. So you can have a nice production going. Can we grab both of them from that far apart? Uh, not quite. Well, technically we can, but we really shouldn't, I don't think. Take these for a drive. I do believe these go on this side, unless this is out. This might be out. Yeah, this will be out. The other side it's in. Yep, guaranteed. Okay. Uh, must be this over here. Yes. Okay, so we will. Oh, it's a sawmill. Okay, so we'll activate that. Yeah, I can store quite a bit in there. So actually, for now, we will set this on distributing. So that it'll send everything it has to our sawmill. Not, not sawmill, our carpentry. And then once we get a good supply of planks in here, we'll set it back to storing so we can sell the excess as well. I think then we will start chopping out some more trees. Whoops. Yeah, no, it shouldn't really work picking them up like that because that one there we only have the prong on the one side of the pallet but if that's it works so we'll do it whoa here's another 2,000 liters for you
and we will let this continue producing. So I'm going to get the rest of these moved over and then I will see you back here once we are putting in the last little bit or getting ready to start chopping down some trees. Uh, I'm not sure which ones we'll go for. We may go for the row on the front <coughs> of our property where we first come in, chop some down there or actually no, we should leave those for now. Continue on clearing our forest we have over there. So anyways, yes, I'll see you in a bit once these are all moved over there. Alright, the last two pots we're going to bring over here. And then we'll check to see how much we have of the planks in here. There go, just leave that there for now. We have... Okay, we also... Uh, let's see here, yep. Yeah. We have, oh, it's actually almost full. 16,157 liters of planks in here. So that's going to be a lot of furniture because it's so, uh, for every. We get. Oh, okay, every four. Oh, here, which this way. Every five planks, we get seven pieces of furniture and 0.1 liter of wood chips. Actually, this we don't need to have distributing. We can keep that as storing now. And yeah. So we are going to go cut down some more trees. Throw uh, one or so big ones into the carpentry building here. And we'll put some more back into our sawmill. Oh, we're gonna have to go over to the store and get a log fork for our telehandler. But anyways, where's the tractor? Ah, it's attached to the trailer, right? So let's hop in here. We'll get that disconnected, and we'll head on down to our forest area there and see what kind of trees we want to take down. yard is really coming together. Definitely a lot of changes happening. The crops are looking good. So these small ones, they don't do much. But I guess every little bit helps. Um, let's go, let's drive up a little bit further actually. Let's park up. Okay, so our border is around here. We're not cutting any further than those. So we'll start here. Let's drop them. Which way should we drop them? That way, most likely. Let's take a look here. What kind of angle are we shooting at? That should be fine. We're going to have to keep our eyes open for another stump grinder to get these cleaned up. That's a big one, that was 34 meters, I think it was popping there. This is only going to be a 25, looks like. But still, it's still a nice big tree. Oh, that's another big one, another 34. Wow. That's going to be a lot of wood chips. That's the wrong angle. I'm going to go about there, I think.
Another big one. Yeah, wow. I did not notice or realize that we had that many big, tall trees in there in this area. But I guess we did. Strip all these branches off so we can actually see the trunk and in here a little bit. It's surprising how much of the ground they actually cover when you're when they're lying down here. And then we'll go uh, grab our telehandler and we'll zip quickly down to the store to grab a log fork. I think we still have just uh, well, the devil prong on the bottom and the single grapple on top for the telehandler. Um, I know I have heard that the manure fork is supposed to work really well. I've never really tried it myself so not too sure about it but yeah so let's go grab that and I'll see you back over here we need a get around vehicle too actually we can cut across here Yeah, we need a smaller get around vehicle, like a quad or something. These will be, well, I guess we could cut them down now already. I think they'd be the 25 meter tree then. Next growth stage will be the full 34. But, yeah. Uh, parts off the side here a bit. Okay, so I will see you back here once we have driven all the way down to the store and all the way back with our new log grab. Alright, so I went for the manure fork. I'm gonna give it a shot. It was $100 more than the log grab. But if it does work better, and it's definitely worth it. If it doesn't work any better, at least it will work the same, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's cut this down a bit. But there, that was weird. How I got so far off to the side of it. Yeah, let's try that on. Uh, maybe we should move over a little bit more. Bit closer to center. First things first, we will take this one down to our new carpentry building and see how full this will make its storage for timber. We don't, I don't really know how much it's going to take and how fast it will fill up with these if they've changed the uh, leachage of the logs or not in the new update. I don't know. This is first time in the new update doing this, so oh, it kind of have to be. This is being recorded the same day it was released, so. The wave of the plants being pushed with a something is gone. Ooh, did not think of this. Um, where we, we need, we'll need to deposit this right here, I'm assuming as well. So let's get this forklift out of the way. That should be fine there. 
So let's see, see if we can wiggle our way in here. Not gonna talk because I'm concentrating. A hey. twist that. Oops. Go. Go. That wasn't too difficult. So drop this whoop down in here. That should be sensed. And we will there. Okay, so six thousand three hundred and twenty one liters to that log. How much does it take? Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse me, I was just drinking some water there. We'll activate that right away. Get that going as well. So yeah, it looks like it takes probably about the same amount of wood as it does planks. So all three of those trees look like they should fit into its storage. Capacity in there. I think our next purchase will be the roller that uh, mod I mentioned many episodes ago that you can transform between the field roller and meadow roller. Whoops. Well, I guess we could take this log first. Seems to be a branch still on there. Uh, let's go here. And whoops. Okay. I mean, these are a little heavy for our telehandler, but it's not over. Well, it might be overloading it. It's not tipping it forwards. Well, I mean, okay, yes, it is tipping it forward a little bit. There, the back axle is very light, but it's not like it's undrivable. Next episode, June time, our crops should be getting pretty close to being ready to harvest. And unless since this production takes off and just rapidly makes material, we will not have uh, enough in the bank account to buy our own harvester. We will have to lease again most likely. It isn't that big of a deal. It's not overly expensive leasing that small one, but it would be nice just to buy our own so that it's always there ready for our use of it. There we go. That was a uh, bit of work there.
Well, let's quickly get that. Well, actually, on second thought, we're about half full already with just those ends. So maybe just those two. Well, put those two thinner pieces in first, and we'll see where we're at. And good chance is we may put the rest into our sawmill. But yeah, we will see here. Yeah, so plan is to get this cleared here. We'll leave a strip in the middle where we'll plant another, whoops, another chunk of trees for uh, reproducing what we have taken down here. And we'll have another big chunk of field here on this end. That is the plan as of now. May change, who knows? I often get weird ideas as randomly we do something a little bit different, but that's what the plan is as of now, so. No plans on changing my plan. But who, who plans to change their plan? That would be weird. Let's see if you can't take both these back at the same time. Just so that this grabs a bit fuller and the stuff won't slide around as easy in there. There we go. Grab those. Lock them in. Nope, oh, tree there. Yeah, these are a lot thinner so we won't have nearly as much in them. What in the world? Spindly ends catching that tree. <coughs> yeah, so once we have this carpentry filled up, we'll Sticking our time lapse, I'll do some more harvesting of these trees, chopping them down and cutting them in half. And then we will load up a trailer and bring that, we'll maybe take the back of that green trailer we just bought and load that up with logs. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, so we're just as full as we are with planks now. Oh, leafage wise, not fill level wise. But we will leave that for now in there. We'll see how long it takes it to chug through that. And yeah, we will now head on over there and do some more cutting. Now that we have a spot cleared um, up a little ways. Whoa, whoa, shoot. Really just spun there. But yeah, now we have a little spot cleared up here. We'll drop them the other way. So I hopefully, actually, and we'll take, clear this edge here so we have a bit more driving room as well. Park this right alongside here. Hopefully out of the way and we don't drop a tree on it. So yeah, let's get the time lapse going and we will clear this area a bit. And yeah, get her all loaded up.
Okay, so we are back here again. I have to take a little break. The logs physics were not to make it happy again, but we got it all worked out and loaded up. So let's throw this last strap on here. That is a pretty good load, I think. So this is all going into our sawmill. We're gonna get it all topped up again. Oh, we should, whoa, that is heavy. That is pushing that tractor. We should turn, oh, that back on and the time back. So let's see how full this will make our sawmill. This is quite the heavy load. I wish we had a scale that actually tells us what the total weight was. that corner and around here there we go yeah I like how this actually fits in here very nice Okay, so we just come through here and we'll get these dropped into the sawmill. Wish we, there was a smaller sawmill that we could place yet yeah, too. Because the ones that they do have are quite a big footprint. Now where was this uh, trigger here again? Here. Oh, not in here, that's for sure. Oh, we're here. <laughs> wow is um loaded up again that is for sure wow not even that much i thought that'd be more Fifty-four thousand. hmm okay then interesting yeah for some reason i thought it would be more We're about halfway done our first pallet of furniture. So yeah, I think that's gonna probably do it for this episode. I will probably off screen mow this section here. Actually, this episode by mowing that. There's no point skipping everything. Should we just, I was gonna try it somewhere here. Spin this around here. Oh, thought I could make that corner. There we go. Okay, that's yeah, a little in the way, but it should be fine there. Okay, just push this out of the way. Oh, more front mowers in here first. We need to tidy up here. This is getting kind of ridiculous how everything is just put in here. Just kind of dropped in place. Yeah, so next episode, these silage bales will most likely be ready to harvest. Oh, not harvest. <laughs> what am I saying? Ready to be sold. And hopefully our crops will be ready to harvest should be shortly now because they are looking I mean, this one's not looking too terribly tall at the moment but ready shortly yeah also I will most likely uh, install that pack just to see how they would fit here on the map. 
they don't don't fit too terribly well we may go for another I don't know what we go for next production I don't know why I'm on this outside edge but it's really just gonna be more of a pain to windrow and clean up later with a baler. I don't know why I'm doing that. But I did. So now I have to clean it up. But anyways. Yeah, this section has gotten a lot smaller so we won't get nearly the amount of bales off it any like we did before. Probably made this area less productive, but it's something new and different, something new to the game. want to try out the new features. So this will take not very long at all to mow it down. And then I will get the wind rowing and stuff, bailing and wrapping all that good stuff done for the next episode. We should do some more texturing here, I think, by the uh, silo. Ooh, that's another thing. Uh, we have soybeans waiting to be sold in there. Where are we here? 1841. Yeah, I think next episode we'll probably sell that the soybeans as well. No, oh, that's going to be too far. There you go, just on this side of the tree we'll go. Don't want to be leaving grass around. It just looks untidy when you can't pick it up. Probably could go a little bit further out yet. But I think that'll be fine. What did we have in this field here, or was it? It wasn't wheat, was it? Crop types here. That's canola? Oh, okay. So the canola's not nearly ready. The sorghum is getting there, and the oats are also getting there. But, okay, I did not think that was canola for some reason, but it's been a while since I've been on here, so. I know I say that basically every episode, but it's true. I don't play an awful lot. When I do, it's in bursts on the weekend, so. It would be nice to have more time to play, but also, it is also nice to not just be at home all the time doing not much of anything, so. Alright, pretty good cut, we should get another... 10 bales off this maybe because we think we used to always get 15 I think 10 should be a good close estimate it might be a little on the high side but yeah it should be right around the 10 bale mark and oh what was it I was just gonna say something just slipped my mind I might come back to me yet Sure. Anyways. Let's 
So yeah, I don't know if you've watched the last few of my videos, I have talked about the weather we have been having as of late where I am from. Been having tons of snowstorms and blizzards and all that good stuff. This week has been not bad. We've had cool, pretty cold weather around minus 25 to 30 every day, but we have not had blizzards, so that's been a good thing. They are talking about more snow coming up this week again, which is kind of unfortunate we have so much snow already uh, just keep pushing up pushing up on some of the yards where we are well the main yard where we are working now the snow is just pushed up so high you just see some of the yards and driveways where they have so much snow already it's just getting kind of unbearable but I don't know who ordered that much snow you know, typically I do love all the snow, so all snow milling, but I haven't done much of that, or zero, for the last two years now. Because last year we had, like, no snow, so couldn't really snow mill. And this year I've moved away from my, out of my parents' place, so now my sleds aren't at home. I have to make a point to go to their place and get them out, so it just hasn't been on my highest priority to do that. So yeah, we're almost done here. I'll probably do the landscaping also between this episode and next. Just after I've done cleaning up the grass, don't wanna delete the grass before it's done. And I wonder if there's a uh, different production side of things where we should go down right like I have a feeling that the production thing is only if you have a high volume of product running through there otherwise the output for putting up the factory is not viable but if you have a lot of output like we have lots of lumber doing the, the sawmill and carpentry building those are really worth it because you have so much material going through them it just sits there and plugs away pumping out uh, products for you to sell but if you just have a little bit in there it's not really worth it you have to place this hundred thousand sixty to hundred thousand dollar item or building and it just sits there for lots of time so So I guess what I'm trying to say is we need more land, more crops, but we need to make the money to get the land to do that. But anyways, how far along are these now? 64% and 53. So yeah, they should definitely be ready by the next episode. And we can sell them. We can sell our silage, not silage, sell our soybeans and all oh, that pallets in the way you get that thing moved and we definitely need to keep our eye open for whoops not don't unfold that keep our eye out for a uh, bigger cedar tree planter and oh we should get that metal roller or not just metal but the field roller and the one that you can change back and forth the metal roller and normal field roller but yeah anyways that's gonna do it for this episode I'm thinking let's take a look here before we leave on the sale menu anything we want oh it's by the, the Roper Tiger 6s I'm kidding we cannot afford that at all beast of a machine though wow yeah, nothing we want there. So that's going to do it for this episode. I will see you again in the next one, and it will be in June. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>